Hello, my name is Daniel Lebrowski, and this is a project that I've been working on for my engineering history course at Ohio State. The course number is 360 for anyone at OSU that might be looking for a GEC. I worked on this project along with Enoch NG, Laura Glebe, and Stephen Hara. Together, the three of us researched the original design, drafted blueprints, and created the functional model that you see before you. The original design is called Hero's Temple Door was created by Hero of Alexandria, and it's a method by which an open flame can automatically open a temple door. Uh, this, this is a functional model in the terms that it's uh, not created using the design methods that would be used in the period and actually was um, just created with things that were easily accessible to us, such as this can here. Uh, however, it is fully functional and works on the same principles that Hero's original temple door operated on. Uh, this door is connected to a wooden dowel, which goes directly through to the bottom here. Attached to this dowel is a counterweight, which is just a single nut in this case, since we're dealing with a fairly lightweight door. Um, usually the nut's actually not even necessary. Uh, the force of friction alone is usually enough to keep the door from moving until this cup is full. Uh, however, the nut does make it a bit more predictable. Um, on the other side we have this bucket which is filled with the hose that I'm touching here. Uh, obviously these two fishing lines which attach the bucket and the hose are wound in opposite directions around the dowel. Uh, if we trace this hose back it goes to the bottom of this hemisphere here and we've devised a filling method for the hemisphere using this funnel and this valve. So you open the valve uh, to fill the hemisphere and then close it when the device is in operation. I've pre-primed the hemisphere so we won't have to worry about that for this demo. Uh, and then I've also allowed for an uh, air release here uh, while the device is being primed and it can be sealed off when the device is in operation. Uh, this is probably where our design differs most from the original Heroes Temple door um, the original Hero's Temple had a metal altar with a fire on top of the altar. Um, the altar was sealed and air pressure uh, was built uh, built up in the off altar and then vented out to a hemisphere similar to this one. Uh, this is just a Christmas ornament, by the way, which we've multi mo modified. But, uh... First of all, we needed to use things that we were, you know, that were accessible to us. Uh, we originally tried to use some copper tubing, but that's actually not fairly easy to get your hands on, especially in large diameters. Um, plumbing suppliers don't have anything greater than a uh, one-inch diameter, so this is much better for our purposes. Um, so this differs from the original Heroes Temple door in that the original design, the fire was above the altar. Um, where the uh, where the gas would expand, whereas in this case we're going to hold this over our fire. Um, this is actually a much more efficient method, of course, because heat rises. I'm not sure why the original design had the fire on top of the altar. Um, I imagine it was probably just for aesthetics, but perhaps someone can shed some light on that in the comments section. Uh, also, this is probably made out of aluminum, whereas the original um, altar would have been made either out of copper or possibly even gold. Um, that actually would have been better uh, because it transfers heat better than aluminum. Um, however, as you're about to see, this works just fine for our purposes. Um, of course, they didn't have aluminum um, in ancient Greece because it has to be extracted from an ore. Uh, it's fairly difficult to do even now. It takes a lot of energy. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and First of all, hold this by the hose so I don't burn myself. I'm going to hold this can over the open flame. And you should start to see water coming out of the hose. There you are. You can probably hear it filling the cup now. I'm going to go ahead and view the door. and We should see it open momentarily. There you are. I'm going to go ahead and release this now. 
Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.